Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time coming across this channel, my name is Chino Yelum, aka Simply Noni. And in this channel, we'll talk about beauty, lifestyle, natural hair, fashion, DIYs, and a lot of other things. If it's your first time, please don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. To my returning to subscribers, thank you so much guys. Thank you guys so much for your support and love. Thank you for coming back to watch my videos. I love you guys so, so, so much. So in today's video, we are going to be making, we are going to be creating this hair that you're seeing here. This is a passion twist hair. I use the expression color hair, one pack of expression color hair to achieve this hair that you're seeing here. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, please. Keep watching and while you're at it, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be getting notified when I upload all these videos every week. So let's go so you see how I achieve this look. We are using one pack of braiding hair for this passion twist. What I did was I shared it into half, then I have I had a I have this half attachment, half pack that I've i used for a previous video so i'm adding it with the other half to miss it so that I, I will tone down the color a bit then after that to even it out and they will apply a, a vaseline or shea butter to brush it out so that it will be smooth and even so after that the next thing we'll be using is a hair pin and the straw for this all it's how you do the rolling is you bring the hair you take a part of the hair comb it out very well then place it on the straw at the center of that hair and when you roll it like three or four coaches or steps you pin it you bend the straw the other end of the straw and then pin it down then you roll the attachment on the other part of the straw down to when you get to the half of the straw you roll it backward again while you're rolling it at the first time you have to make space you can see the way the thing is i didn't roll it tightly I didn't roll it tightly so that you will be able to get that passion twist look. So you roll it, giving small, small space in between. Then when you get to the half of the straw, you turn back and roll it in between that spaces that you left while you were doing the first rolling. So you roll it downwards like this. When you roll, when you get to half or almost half of the straw, you turn back and roll it backwards again in between the spaces that you left while you were doing the first rolling. You can see the way I'm doing it. Just like that. After that, you trim it out. So it should come like this after you finish trimming it out. If, you, if it's like this, that means you're getting it. So this is the ones I've already rolled and uh, I've already done. This I made a total of 70. Then you put a conditioner in the water on a bucket and then place your straw, your your creation into it and pour hot water. What I did was after I removed it from hot water, I used the oil sheen to spray on it just to keep it more moisturized. The, the more moisturized. So this is my hair before I how my what my hair looks like. But let's see what the, the outcome of the stuff that we created so this is what it looks like when you want to pull it you pull it backward just the way you roll it you pull it backward and then uh, it will get it to open then you now separate it you can see how i'm doing it it's very simple and easy these ones i've already done these are where i'm putting it so i've already uh, part my hair or arranged my hair using my edge gel and the uh, rubber band just to make it easier and reduce the length of this video so what you do is when you want to place the thing you place don't place it at the center place the attachment making one part of it longer than the other then you place it on top of the of your hair using your index finger to collect the other part the one on the right hand side of side of your hair from under then make using your hair to make the third part and do it like you're doing boss braids like you're braiding your hair, your hair. So when you like, this is to help to secure the edges since we are not using crochet, crochet uh, needle for this style. So when you get, uh, when you feel that you've secured the edge, I didn't really count how many uh, steps that I took. So what I do is I, you, I shared my natural hair into two, then making sure to wrap it with the attachment or the, the passion twist hair 
then while i twist it tightly where the where the part that my hair was coming out and when you see that you're getting to the end of the the short part of the attachment or the passion twist what you do is you share it into two and share the longer side into two and cross and crisscross it to the other side making sure that the one part of it is long and one part of long and short and one part of it is long and short then you twist it down once you have finished twisting the part that your hair was in so what you do is you just twist it but not as tight as you were doing it before when you started the twisting i will show you one more time how to do it so that you'll be able to understand what i am saying so i i didn't use gel for this hair i didn't use gel normally some people you can add gel to your natural hair just to make it smooth but my hair was already smooth because i i deep conditioned my hair and detangled it and it was smooth and easy to manage so it was gliding very well with the attachment not coming out to show that it's or not looking different from the attachment you can see the way i'm doing it place it on top of the hair use your index finger to grab the other part of the attachment cross it over then use your hair as the third part and the braid when you get like two three four coaches or three steps of that braid you share the hair into two when you share it into two you twist the hair making sure that the hair you're hiding the hair while you're twisting the hair that is making sure that you're twisting it very tight and the hair is entering very well so it doesn't pop out after you finished twisting so after you pass the side that the hair is what you do is you you twist not too tight again so why i'm using why i'm making this uh, uh, uh passion twist when i'm why i'm why i'm not using the attachment equally because i want the hair to be a little longer but if you want it to be sh not very long or not very long you can just do the normal place it at the center of the passion twist and twist down you don't need to do the sharing in the middle and all that so this is the hair you can see go this is passion twist on a budget you can see that. There is no difference between this and the regular one that is sold in the store. So I didn't show the part where I cut the, the uh, braiding hair because I didn't know my my, uh, my the stuff was not recording while I was doing it. And I've already finished cutting it. But what I did was to take half of the one pack and uh, mix it with another pack, half pack that I, I had before now to tone down the the hair a little so it to be like that ombre look kind of look or vibe that's what i did you can use any color you can use black you can use gold whichever color that suits you you can use it to create this style as long as you follow the the steps on how to achieve it the most difficult part of it is trying to yeah when you are you trying to roll it on the straw that's the that, i think that's the difficult part of it because if you don't get the steps you will not be able to get that passion twist look that you're doing so what i did at the front because my front hair was short some was uh, some are longer than the other what i did i added gel to the front i just used the gorilla gorilla nut gel to add to the front so that the the part that is short will be will be able to lap well with the other length of the hair and so that it doesn't stick out unlike the other part but you can do this hair without gel i didn't want to use gel because i, I tend to carry the hair for like for for long because i believe if i add gel to make me want to lose the hair faster but if you want if you think if you know you're not going to lose this hair very fast you can add gel though i didn't see much difference in the parts that I added gel and the part that I did not add that gorilla nut gel. So I don't see any. As long as you're twisting it tight and your hair is well detangled smooth, you can even uh, use a little heat to comb your, to straighten your hair so that it will be flat. So that it will not be coming out while you're doing the hair. As long as your hair is, you're, you, you're hiding your hair very well, I don't think there's any need for you to add 
gel to this hair you can see the one i use gel there is no difference between this one and so you can see that there is no difference between the part that i added gel and the part that i did not add gel what matters is how you're twisting the hair hold it very tight this uh, you can use a uh, crochet too to do it but I've not really tried crochet using crocheting using crochet on my hair. I feel I don't know if it's going to be painful, but and this part this this style works better for me or is easier for me. I think that's why I'm always doing the rubber band method and the twisting directly. So you can just use whatever your preference is. You can use that method. I I twisted my hair up so that it doesn't. Uh, shrink that's why it's in twist if you want your hair to be fuller you can cut the hair smaller than i did and the front you can cut it smaller if you want this front to be really full i don't want my front i want the back alone to be very full then the front a little scanty so you can cut the hair smaller so that you get fuller hair because even the 70 that i made i didn't use all i my hair i ended up using 63 out of the 70 and i didn't even use the whole of the attachment the one full pack that i i did so you can make more and there uh, make uh, add more uh, cut the hair i be part the hair smaller and get more hair and make it fuller so this is how i did it it is very simple it is easy to do it will help you to reduce cost this for you the whole hair we have finished the hair you can see how the hair looks it looks neat looks simple and it's still that passion twist uh, look that we are looking for that we got you can see the hair see the back of the hair you can see how full it is it is still full it is not scanty if you want it fuller than this you are definitely can you add more you part your hair smaller so that you get more strands so this is the hair you can pack it as you like any style of your choice you can pack whichever style that suits you but this is the end of the twisting and this is the final look of the passion twist that is it guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please give it a thumbs up so it reaches more people put a comment down below the part of this video that you enjoyed most and then uh, i'll see you guys in my next one thank you so much